And the title of the talk today is Words Were Not Necessary. Now imagine if you had a problem and you're competent to solve the problem. You'd been thinking about this problem for years already. So perhaps it was something like an astrophysicist. He's trying to solve an unsolvable, unsolvable relativity problem. And then in walks Einstein, snaps his fingers, and the problem is solved. What would you say to something like that? Absolutely incredible or astounding. Was Padre Pio able to do something like that? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this channel on Padre Pio. And here we have a series of short stories on his life, the life of our great saint. He was a Capuchin friar, he was a mystic, and he was a tremendous miracle worker. Do stay tuned to find out more about Padre Pio and also to see what his intercession could do for you. We do encourage everyone to be part of this Padre Pio apostolate. It'd be tremendous if you would help us by liking the video and by sharing the video with your friends and with your colleagues. Just a reminder that we do have a Mass every Friday. It's dedicated to Padre Pio. We bring your in intentions to Padre Pio in this Mass. If you wished your intentions to be included, then just enroll them and you can see the video on the end screen how to do that. Now in today's little story, anecdote about Padre Pio, the author of this story of the article tells us that this actually happened to him. His name is Father Cataneo. He says that for a long time he had been worried about a certain spiritual problem that he just was unable to put right because he did not know what the cause was. Now, our great Saint Therese of the Infant Jesus, she had something similar in her life. A spiritual problem which for years and years just kept spiraling around in a circle, going nowhere seemingly. A crisis in her life, we could say, that removed her peace. Everything became too much. She was terribly oversensitive. And so at the smallest thing, the slightest negative comment, she would just burst into tears. She also suffered from this condition called scruples the smallest tiniest thing she could could make her feel like she'd done something really really wrong seriously wrong and then she would spiral down into the same state and for years and years it continued like this how was she going to become a great saint of course that is a question for another talk as we say the author who is father cataneo he tells us that he had this spiritual crisis unable to solve, he had tried everything. One day he had the opportunity to meet with Padre Pio. And this is how it happened. This is what happened. A friend, he says, who lived in San Giovanni Rotundo, he knew the friars very well. And so he invited me to stay at his home and then he arranged for me to meet with Padre Pio. Still, no one was aware that he even had a spiritual problem. Father Cataneo, he went to the monastery then, he arrived at the monastery, he was greeted by a Father Venazio. Father Venazio was a priest who scheduled Padre Pio's visits. So Father Venazio brought him to a particular room and told him that he must wait there. But he said, this is Friday, on Friday Padre Pio's wounds bleed more profusely, so he's had to go to the kitchen now to wash his wounds. And Father Cataneo continues that while he was waiting for Padre Pio, he started to go through everything in his mind. He wanted to have it very clear, crystal clear, so he could put his situation across to Padre Pio in the briefest, most clear way possible. Well, not long after this, he saw Padre Pio coming down the corridor towards him. Padre Pio approached, did not stop, without even giving me time to speak, he says, Padre Pio leaned over and whispered in my ear, this is the reason for your situation. And in one sentence, he summed up what the problem was and what the solution was. Father Cataneo hadn't been able to solve this problem in years. And yet through this mystical gift that Padre Pio had, this word of knowledge, he solved that in one instant, in one sentence, he did the impossible. 
Well, Father Cataneo continues, Although 30 years have gone by since this happened, he says, I can remember it exactly, word for word, as if it happened yesterday. He says, I was completely thrown by this. There was no need to discuss further with Padre Pio because the priest had gone right to the heart of the problem. He had found its cause. And after this, Padre Pio turned around and he proceeded to walk away. He got a certain distance. Then he stopped and he turned around and he came back and repeated what he had said so that there would be absolutely no doubt in my mind. And then he turned around again and he started to return to his cell. When he was halfway along, then he, then he stopped and he said, Where are you saying Mass tomorrow? But Father Cataneo was still shaken what had by what had happened. I don't know, Father, he said. So Padre Pio said, You don't want to come here and say it, say the Mass. I replied, Yes, yes, Father, I will say Mass here. And then Padre Pio finished by saying, Yes, you come here and you say Mass tomorrow. Father Cataneo tells us that he now returned to his friend's house. But everyone noticed that he was completely preoccupied. He was deep in thought. So they asked him, what is the matter? And I told them, Padre Pio, he read my soul and he solved my problem. So when they heard about this, they just exclaimed, well, that's what people say about him. Then it's true. You know, here in St. Giovanni Rotunda, we hear so many things. But if you tell us that that's what happened, then it is true. Well, I responded, you can be sure that it is really true because I now have irrefutable proof of that. And so that was Father Cataneo's introduction to Padre Pio. He was left completely shaken by this whole incident. That Padre Pio had read his soul and solved such a difficult problem in an instant, without even being aware a, there was a problem. Father Cataneo then went on to become an avid supporter of Padre Pio and to write books about Padre Pio. Do join us next time. We'll have another video about Padre Pio. Just a reminder that the videos do come out three times a week on Tuesday and on Thursday and on Saturday. If you're not receiving reminders of these videos, then you may have to make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. After subscribing, click that reminder bell. Another way to receive notifications, enroll your mass pre-intentions, and then we'll be able to notify you of future videos as they come out. Please do join us for these videos.